What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Don back here with another build video, man. And whatever you do, make sure that like button's blue and subscribe if you are new, bringing you all the best builds of 2K22. And for this video, we will be going with a shooting guard build. I wanted to give y'all something that can do a little bit of everything. I'm talking about finishing, defending, a little bit of playmaking. Not nothing too crazy. It can be the primary ball handler, though. And, um, you know, defend at a high level. All right, let's get into the build. First thing you're gonna do, you're gonna make it at the shooting guard position as seen on screen. Number is always up to you. So, all right, for the height on this build, we'll be going with a 6'6 height. We do want him at 180, so he can be pretty much as fast as possible. I think that's, yeah, that's minimum. And then for the wingspan, we're going with 7'1, which is, uh, yeah, it's one under max or two under max. But, you know, it'll give you pretty good defensive ability. So, all right, we can go ahead and start off with the driving dunk. The driving dunk, we're not going crazy. We will have an 80 for the driving dunk, which is more than enough to get most of the dunk packages you'll probably want. Me personally, I go for really boring, uh, really boring, you know, dunk packages. I got like Luca, James Harden, stuff like that. I go for the quick drops or anybody that wouldn't really do anything too crazy because a lot of those crazy, uh, a lot of those crazy things get blocked like George Kilgannon stuff like that that all those will always get you blocked but all right going well, with an 88 for the driving layup and a 57 for the close shot which ain't nothing too crazy you'll be able to finish under the goal under you know over those little small guards but that is pretty much it and then just to get rid of some points later on so no leftovers we can go ahead and take the standing dunk and put that to a 27. That really ain't for nothing other than, you know, to get rid of some points. For the mid-range, we're gonna take it pretty high. We're gonna go with an 87. For the three-point, we're gonna max it out at an 83. You already see we get 27 defensive badges. We're only gonna put the free throw up to a 70. So it's gonna be okay. If you put it on the uh, real player percentage, instead of tr trying to time it, you actually hit a vast majority of them in the wreck. So, uh, like I said, I am making this build to play make as well. So I am gonna give him some pass accuracy. So with this pass accuracy, you pretty much, I just went to the point to where he does get bullet passer on silver. Won't make him like a crazy passer, but it'd be enough so that, you know, you won't be out here throwing Stevie's because of the build. So driving, uh, not driving, ball handle, we're gonna go with an 80. Uh, speed with ball. We can go ahead and max that out because we do want that quick first step as high as we can get it. And that gives you 23 playmaking badges, which for an off-ball guard is more than enough. You'll be able to help the center, help the point guard, uh, bring the ball up. Everything will be all right. So I told you I am making this dude to be a defensive demon. So we will be going with max perimeter, max steal, and max block see all them purple badges that we're able to get and you got chase down rim protector pogo you get a lot of the badges that you would need to play defense at a high level so for the speed we're gonna go ahead and max that out acceleration max that out uh then we can go ahead and take stamina up to a 99 you see the vertical isn't that high but like i said we're not trying to get anything crazy with these uh with these badges which, which what we have so far but if you do want more vert all you got to do hit the steal take that down one then you can you know you can keep going because you really don't need any of those badges too high you know you get a 68 that's that's fine or even perimeter you can drop that down just to get something you actually want to see 73 uh probably go one more just to make sure that we get that 75 now we got it at 77 still got a couple points left i'm gonna just put it on standing dunk take that up to a 28 uh put a little bit of free throw so uh for the takeovers as usual the takeovers are completely up to you just make sure you pick something that matches your play style for this build you do have some decent finishing and you'll probably get contact dunk so maybe you want to go with uh the finishing moves but i really like the shot creating one so i'm gonna go with pull up precision 
and just because of something that I like to do, I'm gonna go with extreme clamps. I love defense, man. I always make all my builds to play defense, and that gives you a two-way shot creator. Shades of Joe Jumars, CJ McCollum, and Tyrese Halliburton, man. Not bad shades of. I really don't know a lot about Joe Jumars. If you do, drop drop some knowledge for your boy in the comment section, man. Maybe we can learn something. We can go ahead and test the build so I can show you the best badges that I would suggest to put on the build. But as usual, this is just a guide. Make sure you make the build to be perfect for you, man. That's why I title them all as best build because it can be the best build for you. You know what I'm saying? So we got posterizer on there, silver finisher. Uh, I am going to put Lob City finisher just because I love catching lobs, man. That's a, one of the fun parts of the game for me. I'm going to take acrobat, put that on gold, and I'm going to do fearless finisher on bronze. Now, for the rest of the badges, man, listen, if any badge category does not have enough badges for you, remember, we do have the uh, rebirth thing. So, you can always use your rebirth to, and, you know, with that comes, obviously, up to 30 badges and um, extra five for the college stuff and all that other stuff. So, you should be straight. Um, so, we go and put Sniper on Hall of Fame. You know, that has to go there. Uh... For the Hot Zone Hunter, we're going to put that on gold. Catch and shoot, we're going to put that on silver. And with our last 14, you know, you can just make sure you make this build to suit yourself. So, Limitless Spot Up is something you can put on. If you're taking this build into rec, that's definitely something you'll be able to take advantage of. Dead Eye, put that on. And uh, last six badges, I'm going to put Slithery on gold. And then with our last three, I'm going to go ahead and get Blinded on silver for the playmaking i want bullet passer on silver hyperdrive on silver don't need quick chain but i do want quick first step stop and go unpluckable uh we want glue hands on gold and i'll put handles for days on bronze now for the defensive badges we we have a lot of them man but you just make sure that you max these out to your you know liking Honestly, if I had to use the five badges, this is probably where I would put them. So, if you want to make them like an on-ball lock, you know, you can get away with, you can have clamps on Hall of Fame. But if you're playing off-ball, I would suggest you put clamps on silver, off-ball pest on silver. Uh, pick dodge, you won't need it because you're playing off-ball, but you can get Tyler's defender. Put pick pocket on because when you get those little chances that are steal, you want to make sure you can get them and uh, something like that. But if I was going on ball with this build, I would definitely put Clamps on Hall of Fame. Clamps on Hall of Fame, drop Interceptor down. You really only need Interceptor just so you can get uh, get those passing lanes. But if you're playing on ball, you won't be going for passing lanes as much. Do something like this. Get my Tyler's Defender off. Drop that down. Put that right there. I will go something like that just to make sure you can for one stop your ankles from getting snapped uh, clamp down interceptor you still need it because on the break you probably need it uh, pick dodger that's obvious man if you play these little little guys you're gonna be running through a lot of picks uh, pickpocket super important badge and our still is very high and then uh, tireless defender on silver just so you're not losing too much stamina always equip a couple stamina saving badges man you know, like Handles for Days, Tyler's Defender, uh, Fearless Finisher that help you with stamina on the offensive end. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure you do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We are so close to hitting that, hitting that 500 piece, halfway to being monetized, you know what I'm saying? But all right, I will catch y'all boys in the next one. It's your boy Don. I'm up out of here. Peace.